Now that the police have dismissed two men seen in a security video at the shrine from their inquiry, we are left with a single suspect who is caught going down this road before the bombing on many security cameras as he walks along towards the shrine that's about 200 meters in that direction. As you can see, there are cameras all along this road. It's a very big road, a very busy road, and there are several of them that managed to capture him. Intriguingly, as he walks along this road shortly before the bombing, some point on this, about this point between cameras, he stops for 12 minutes. We just don't know what he does at that point. We don't think he goes into the hotel because he's got a bag with a bomb on the back of it. There's almost nowhere else he can go. The police obviously need to look into that. After that, he walks to the shrine. We've seen the videos of him putting his bag under the bench. It's only three minutes before the blast, and then he walks very smoothly out. Then the cameras pick him up again, walking back past the Hyatt Hotel here and carrying on down this road. And there are more and more cameras that pick him up all the time he's looking at his phone. This is just before the bomb blast. He's on his phone the whole time. Then the bomb goes off. The cameras catch him then walking very, very quickly in that direction. About 300 meters in that direction, he gets on a motorbike taxi and goes off to the end of this road. The motorbike driver knows he dropped him off. After that, the police say they have no more leads and no more information.